Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Dragoon. This time, no more further distractions, no more delays, we're going into the nest of the dragon to, well, hopefully kill a dragon. I mean, that's what we're here for after all. But, of course, it's an entire area that we have to contend with. So, uh, let's just go ahead and start it right off. We go right up the path. Um... I actually don't remember how to get some of the items here. From here on, the game just sort of gets a little blurry. Ah. Feel something. What should we be feeling? It is, a, is it a tingly sensation down below? Because I, I don't think that's the uh, forest, Rose. Might want to get that checked out. Mm, so it appears the forest it's poison why we don't immediately get the poison status while we're here well I, I don't know but it appears Shanna's succumbing to it god damn it Shanna why why do we bring you along it's <laughs> oh chauvinistic lavitz oh you're you're special Uh, yeah. Wow. That was just terrible, Lavitz. And Shanna, really, why the fuck are we bringing you along? You're useless as shit. So she runs off away from all of us. Like the dumb bitch that she is. <sighs> Even Rose is getting tired of her shit. I'm getting tired of her shit. This is ridiculous. First in the volcano, now right here. Oh, I guess she's all fine now. Magically, she got healed. No, you haven't gotten used to the poison in the air. Stop being a little bitch. I should have left you in a uh, hoax or, or the, the frickin' basil castle. You can stay there with the herbs. No, the war's not really in our hands. They're still moving on us. But I guess we have defeated both of the frontal assaults that they wage. So, uh, it's our turn. So, as long as we destroy the dragon, we could be in the upper hand in this war. I mean, that's why we're really here. Would Yes, they are, Rose. And that's a little creepy because they're, uh, they're, they're the, uh, lovey, lovey. What's the word for it? Wow. They're, they're basically a couple. The couple in this game. Um, I forget how I get across, but there's enemy. I wonder if it will be new in a new area. Yep. Uh, so we've got some sort of bat again. Oh, crap. I hate this angle. Uh, we've got tricky bats, which are wind elements from the green. And mandrakes, which are water elements but I don't think they actually do any water moves. Um, doesn't matter. They're both pretty weak. One good addition will kill. Uh, the bats. Pretty sure that the mandrake can be taken down with one good addition as well. Now, Lavitz is going to be doing a little bit less damage than he usually does. Um, because I've put the has a new addition on him. Harpoon got to level 5, so I've equipped him with Spinning Cane. Um, I'm terrible with Lavitz's additions. So, we'll see. Yep, yeah, yeah. I'm terrible with his additions, so I'm probably going to fuck it up a lot. I actually don't end up using Lavitz a lot later in the game. Oh, damn. And I messed up with Roses, too. Um, he just doesn't seem like a very good character. I feel like there's a better team to go with later on um but he has his uses but uh, he, i'll explain more about lavitz later why i don't really use him all that much and all that wow i actually can't remember where i'm supposed oh sh shoot did i just 
move ahead into the next area. I didn't mean to. Oh, or not. Maybe not. Or maybe I have. Fuck. Well, it's okay, because we do come back to this area. So all's not lost. But we are in the nest of the dragon. Well, yeah, I'm confident because I'm a dragoon. I get to kill the shit out of everything. Pure water. Could that be a convenient healing source? Yes, it is, actually. Oh, it's so lovely. So this is actually a good point. If you're uh, low on levels, you can just level up here. If you really wanted to. Oh, man. I really forgot all about this place. Spooky plants. It's a little puzzle. It's pretty linear. I think there's one deviating path to get a little bit of treasure. And not much aside from that. Where does that take me? Over here. Over here. That's probably not where I wanted to go. Because I want to get these treasure chests. I, to be perfectly honest, yeah, I'm, I'm stumped. Hopefully there's a new enemy in here. Nope. I kind of hope to show off a, uh, an enemy that we haven't come across yet later. Um, and I do want to find that yellow bird again, actually. Because there's something special we can do with it, now that we have a certain item. But, uh, I might be able to do that in this episode, depending on how long it goes. I may not. I could just run into random enemies more and ruin my timing. So if we touch these plants, they die. And we can go past the tendrils that were there before. So we do it again. We kill more of the uh, local flora. So that's how we roll. And we can't go further up there. Um, I'm going to try and get all the items that I possibly can. Ah, damn it. So I used the charm potion to uh, reduce risk of encounter. Now the uh, little icon above our head is going to go to yellow and to red even slower. Which is actually probably a good thing for recording because then I don't have to waste a whole bunch of time uh, in battles. I'm surprised I don't use that more. I also can't remember which way I'm going. What's over here? So if we go up here, we unlock the final passageway. Which I realize now I should have done beforehand, but uh, oh well. And we can get to the last chest, which has a bravery amulet. All it does is avoid fear, which is pretty good. Um, and I may actually end up using that in the next area we get to. Because um, I usually get hit with a certain attack that inflicts fear. But for the most part, I just don't care. <laughs> Oh, we have a new enemy. I almost didn't notice for a second. I was going to speed this up. Alright. So, if, if I can ever get a turn. Let's see what this is. Lizard Man. And he's an earth elemental. I think he has a very high physical defense. Let's see if we can get a good harpoon on. Or spinning cane. There we go. Aha. 
I can sometimes do his additions. Also. Oh, no. If you notice, uh, Rose's bar has filled up twice, so she will get actually two turns as a Dragoon. That's because she's a level 2 Dragoon. Oh man, I fucked up Volcano. Yep. So, regular attacks do not do a lot of damage to the Lizard Man. But... I wonder if I have some items that I can use. Total Vanishing. Uh, let's 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 use Dancing Ray. Why not? When else am I gonna use it? Yeah, it's literally the paparazzi come out of nowhere and we uh, turn on the uh, disco lights. It does a hell of a lot of damage though. Wow. I'm not gonna use it otherwise. So rather than sit here and fight through the enemy normally show you the item and move on I'm not sure why I haven't used the attack ball yet I probably should just use it on a random enemy I almost feel like it might be a waste to do that but oh well I probably will eventually when I get fed up with having two limited spaces oh so the next thing we should fight is the dragon until unless I get another random encounter, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. No! Don't get caught in the freaking corner! Come on, gun it, gun it, go! Yeah! There's probably another area ahead of me. Oh, no! Okay, good. Ah! So there's somebody up there. It seems that they have some history. Graham, or Graham, or however you pronounce his name. Ah! <gasps> Wait, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, we, we, we don't know who the head of the second knighthood is, but apparently it was your father's best friend. I'm guessing there's some drama here. Ah. Uh, so we, we've got a legitimate bad guy here. Ah, so it's Graham that killed his father. He betrayed Basil. All of Basil. All of the herbs have been betrayed. Well, it's both. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get stabbed a lot. Newly obtained power? Oh. Well, shit. It looks like he's a dragoon. And there's the dragon. Yes, where did he get the spirit? What? Yeah, I. He died a long time ago. Well, looks like we're getting into a fight. I suppose if he's using his Dragoon, we should use ours. <laughs> I'll admit, I don't think I've ever had uh, Rose with her second level Dragoon by this point. So, let's go ahead and use it. Because she's first right off the bat. I mean, it's only fair. Dragoon versus Dragoon fight. And Lavitz. Who can see where this is going? Who can see where this is going? I mean, it's obvious, right? I mean, the dragoon's got a spear in it. Yeah, he becomes a dragon. Now, they're about the same strength. One costs more MP, but this one attacks all enemies. And can cause fear, but I think both of the bosses are immune to fear. So it doesn't matter. Dimension. 
Wow, that did fuck all damage. Wow. It really did absolutely nothing. I think they're just... They've just got high magic defense, possibly. Um, I'm not sure who we want to take out first. I think Graham is weaker than the dragon. Um, I honestly can't remember. But we do quite a bit of damage from physical attacks. Oh, that's not fair. He gets his full frickin' dragoon attacked for fuckers. Ew. That's disgusting. Wait, I thought I had the poison guard on Dart. I guess I must have changed his equipment. And he's using magic on us now. Which is actually just a magic item, really. It's not the actual dragoon magics. Ow. Holy shit, Dark got hit like a truck there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to need to heal him. Because he won't survive another attack if I don't. Well, shit. Um, seeing as those don't do as much, I'm going to just try a Dragoon attack on the other Dragoon. Damn it. Terrible with Dragoon attacks. Let's see how much... Ah, uh, that doesn't do that much damage either. Wow. They've just got high defense, I guess. Now I feel like I should have used Astral Drain just to get some HP back, but, uh... Oh, well. Got plenty of time left to use it. And God, that dragon does a lot of damage. So, Lavitz can survive one more attack. This is actually a surprisingly hard fight uh, for what it is. I'm probably going to use quite a bit of healing items before it's through. Oh, I thought it... Ah, oh, damn it. I definitely failed that. Wow. Also, I should have used this Dragoon there. I feel like an idiot. Since turning into a Dragoon removes status effects. And he would have dealt a lot more damage as a Dragoon. It doesn't help that Lavitz does have that piss-poor magic defense. It's probably going to take a good bit of damage here. Yep, he's down in the red. And now she's poisoned. Whew, okay. Well, he's not dead yet. He'll survive one more hit. I think I've got to get Rose up into her Dragoon and heal us a bit while doing some damage. This game starts to get actually really, really hard towards the uh, towards the end. Well, even now, I mean, the difficulty just ramps up, and we've got Graham down to uh, yellow. So let's see how much damage he'll take before we get him down to red. But this is a 50% strength, so we might deal a good bit here. Graham is really the one we want to be worrying about, mostly because of his magic attacks. Um, I don't think that the dragon has any magic attacks to really use, so we don't have to worry too much about it. It'll just attack single people. Alright, and Lavitz, you need to heal. I'm glad I have a good bit of healing potions on me. And Rose is down low, so we've got to use a healing potion on her. I almost feel like I should have grinded out a little bit. Oh god, this is going to do a lot of damage. I almost feel like that should be a dark attack. Doesn't make any sense. And now she's down to low HP again. Ah, and there's the uh, fear status, I think. Oh my lord! Did a lot of damage. Um, well, we're not quite at the point where we need to use that yet. I think I may have to use... Yeah, let's do this. 
Oh, it's only for one enemy. Fuck! Forgot that. Uh, well, I might use that on Graham next turn. Alright, Rose, we need to get some of your uh, SP back. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I was just on Dart though, and he has the most HP, so. Or is it on all three? Nope, just Dart. Okay. I'm alright with that. Ah, come on, we can kill him! Avenge your father, Lavitz! Do it! No, not enough. Wow, he's really hitting on Rose. And that barely did anything to her. Wow. Come on, can we kill him? Yes. Tell you. Go. Probably Go. not. Volcano. Not for another few turns. Oh! Yeah, we took him out! Good. Holy crap. Alright, um... Well, let's go ahead and use the Healing Breeze. I mean... Oh, no, I don't really need to. I thought I was going to have to, but... We seem to be pretty well off for the moment. But now we just have the dragon to deal with. Which is a lot better than having the dragoon. Because the dragoon, its magic attacks are just annoying. I mean, he can cause status effects, which suck, but are not nearly as bad as the uh, hard hitting magic attacks that hit everybody. And we need to get Rose into our Dragoon soon. And then we'll use Astral Drain, get some HP back, and everything will be all good. Wow! He got hit with Paralysis and Fear. Either that or he's just down for the count. Oh no, he's, he's down for the count! Um, alright, well, we need to do something then. We need to block your move for three turns. Now we're gonna have Dark come up. What? I don't. Did that not work? Oh, that's total bullshit! Alright, well. Alright, so we need to use that on Lavitz and get him back up into the fight. Thankfully, status effects are removed after you get knocked out. And then we need... Um... You can just straight up attack, I think. Because I think Rose will survive the poison. Yes, good, good, good. Dragoon. Okay. This is going okay, not as well as I'd hoped, but it's going okay. Um, I'm probably not making the fight look easy by any means, and I should really turn Dragoon Transformations onto short. Alright, we definitely, we desperately need uh, Astral Drain to heal us, and then I might use Dart to heal up Rose because he deals the least amount of damage right now. Until I switch him to a different addition. Or get him a new sword. I forget what the new next sword is. Heat Blade or something like that? It might be a Lohan. Hmm. I don't actually remember. But there we go. Got some healing. Not too much. But uh, it deals a hefty amount of damage to him. Wow. So why didn't... Death Dimension... Does it split that 25% across all enemies? I would think sending them to another dimension to get horribly mur mutilated would deal quite a bit of damage, but apparently not. You know, turn them into a spinning card and shatter it doesn't do as much damage as you think it would. No. And Rose is almost dead. 
She might not survive. Yep, that, there we go. <laughs> but it broke the uh, status effect on her. So that's all good. Now, I think it's down in the red, and I do not want to end the fight with Rose down, so we're going to use an Angel's Prayer on her. Sometimes it's just better to uh, let the person get knocked out, because if they've got status effects on them and you're running low in healing items, um, the basically the Angel's Prayers do recover them to half health, which is almost the same as using a healing potion sometimes. Um, but... It's up to how you want to play. I usually, towards the end of the game, I'll just let people go all the way down in health and uh, not bother healing them. Mostly because I'll be running low on healing potions and I don't want to spend the uh, turns to heal them up and use up more of my healing items that I could be using in a pinch. And it kind of annoys me that we've... Oh, nice! He deals the finishing blow. That's very, very nice. And very fitting. And for defeating him, we get quite a lot of XP. I think all of us are going to grow a level. Uh, even Shanamite. A little bit of gold, not too much. And we get a downburst, which I think is the magic attack that he used on us. Oh, look at the levels. <laughs> and even Shanna gets a level up. Not that we use her, but... uh. You know, why not? Yep, everything you did was in vain. Was it jealousy? No, 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 no. We're not humanizing the enemy here. He tried to kill us with a dragon. No, no. Bullshit. We're not, we're not turning him into a, uh, into a good guy at the very end type thing. I'm calling bullshit. Absolute bullshit. But what happens to the Dragoon Spirit? I wonder, what happens to the green Dragoon Spirit of Wind? Yes, he should have known. I'm glad he died. Rose, you're a cold-hearted bitch, but I agree entirely with you right now. Oh, and there's that green stone lifting up into the air. I wonder what will happen with it. I mean, there we go. No, it's all a coincidence, Rose. Every single bit of it's a coincidence. Don't don't worry. Yay, we got another dragoon! Finally I can say it. Yes, Lavitz is a dragoon. If you haven't figured it out by now. Well, I'm not gonna spell it out for you, but uh we have a lot of characters with different um elements. And it's looking like the dragoons follow elements. Can you see where I'm going for here? I'm not going to say it right out for you. But, uh, yeah. Yes, well, you better. You're useless otherwise. It's only now that we've gotten a dragoon that we can do some really cool stuff with it. Awesome. Yeah, good for you, Lavis. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Shanna, you useless... Piece of shit, why are you with us? Lohan. That is our next destination. So we pick up Shanna and we've got to run out of here now. Um, we can't really go back because there's no way back. Out of curiosity, yep, we're, we're low on HP. Dart's got fear. Let's go ahead and get rid of that fear. We actually don't have a lot of mind purifiers. Wow. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this because I didn't show it off. Sun Rhapsodies, they heal uh, MP completely. I probably don't need to do this, but they take up space in my inventory and I don't really use them in battle. Well, maybe I should keep them just because I only have two. 
I don't think I'm going to use dragoons um, for a while. But yeah, we climb up the web. Which makes me wonder, why is there a web for a dragon? I mean, it's not a spider. I, uh, I don't know. Fret not, we'll go back down here later. Um, we have to. I won't spoil that. Psst, something to do with how awful Shanna is. But I'm just gonna go ahead and run right to the town. And now comes the part that I completely forget because Lohan is just It's 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 completely forgettable. I There's nothing here that I remember. Absolutely nothing. But this is basically like an entire bazaar of a town. And we run through and carry Shanna getting to that mystical doctor that we've heard about. Sanator? Is she gonna die? Do we ha can we can we leave her here? And and and, and just can we can we leave her here and, and, and let her die? Yes! She's a week to live. Thank no dart. Shut the fuck up. Okay, now he's kind of going creepy. He's like, such a cute girl. Yes, I have to touch her in the right spots to heal her. <laughs> so apparently he just walked over there and suddenly remembered. He came back. He didn't read a book or something. Why did you walk off frame to tell us that? I don't. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm perfectly fine with waiting for her to die, Dart. I I will sit here and leave my PlayStation on until she dies. <sighs> Fuck. Well, I guess we're going to try and save Shanna now. Not that I want to, but Damn it. Alright, well, while we're here, I guess we should just go around and explore Lohan. Get a few of the items that are hidden around. Wow. This place is huge. Also, I don't know where we left Shanna. I guess she's supposed to be on this bed. But, uh, she's not. <laughs> Shanna just disappears on us. Dumb bitch. If you can tell, I really don't like Shanna. Can you tell? Is it is it obvious enough? My seething hatred. Uh, there's nothing in a lot of these buildings. Um, mostly because it's most of it's storage, and everybody here lives for uh, well, selling things. But there are a few items we can find around, like 200 gold around here. You lost yourself. Well, maybe you could go and find him instead of standing in the one room that connects from another house. You're a terrible parent. Do not blame the sun. Alright, so... I don't remember what's in here, but I will do my best to show everything that there is. Um. Nope, nothing over here. Just the way up and outside, but well, we'll tackle the rooftops last, I think. Although, I mean, with the way that this place is laid out, we may just get there anyway. I do like how they designed everything. I mean, it's it's very fluid. It, it'd be I'd be hard pressed to uh, say that there's not a space that's. That there's a space that's not used completely. I mean, just looking at him, it, it's pretty cool, I think. Ah, war, make, war should make your business booming, I would think. And this is where we can stay, but 
We don't need to. I think we got healed, didn't we? Oh, no. No, we didn't at all. All right. Well, that sucks. We can go down here. I don't know if there's anything down here, but it never hurts to check. Nope. Just the guy. You're lost. You're in your room. How are you? I don't. How are you lost inside of your room? Also, I only just noticed that the uh, bottom center of that picture was actually outside over here. So we go down a ladder onto a balcony. The design here is really cool, I think. Oh, what's up here? Is that a giant bird? What? What? I don't think they ever explain why there's a giant bird here. There just is. I don't... Okay, whatever. Giant bird, sure. Why not? We're in Loha. Anything can happen. Some things are just strange, though. Um... What did we find? Ah, a hidden passage. And what's down here? A furnace. And what do we always find in furnaces? Stardust. Yep, you open a bookstore. Now, why are you hiding out in the uh, hidden area? Your little fallout shelter. I gotta admit, it's pretty weird. I'm not sure why we close it behind us either. We could just leave it open. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, they did. They don't anymore. So we killed it! Yay! I think Lohan might be the only place that I go back to on another disc on purpose. No, I'm good. We don't need to dress up. We do not need to uh, reenact Final Fantasy VII. We don't. I think we'll be okay without it. Ah, go down there! So if we head right down here, there's a whole other area to explore. This place is huge, but I think both of the shops are in one area. And, uh, we can get there fairly easily. Ah, we're at the Merchant Guild. We have no business here. <laughs> you just go in and leave right away. We're not merchants. We are consumers, driven by our need to feast off of, uh, off capitalism. Hey, give me an item. Item shop. I don't know what they have. Ha, hoon. Even though we're in a uh, Middle Eastern bazaar, for some reason they talk with Southern accent. Alright, so we've got our standard healing potions, which we need a few of. Let's get eight. That sounds good to me. Two of those, five of those. We're going to get one mind purifier. Spinning Gale. Oh no, that's the one that he used on us. I'm not going to buy any of those, just because there's no reason. Um, I'm not going to sell anything, because there's no reason. There's no reason for anything in this game. God damn it. Also, I'm really l running low on money. I did not realize that things cost so much in this game. I may have to grind out some cash. Off camera, of course. I'm not going to sit here and watch you. And let you watch me grind out m money. Another furnace? Is there another Stardust? No, there's not. Huh. Weapon shot. 
Well, let's see what you've got then. Any new weapons for us? Lance, we already have. The cape is better for her, so let's pick up a cape. Oh my. So, uh... Wow, that's amazing. I didn't realize that was available here right now. We don't have enough gold for it, of course. It's it's 10,000. That's quite a lot. Sorry about that. Move my mic a little. It's 10,000 gold. We we don't have anywhere near enough. And it, that is um, end game equipment right there. As you can see, magic attack goes up to 50. Magic defense goes up to 135. Uh, if I grind out to get one of those, I will be very overpowered and Lavitz will have no problem getting hit by anything. But uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to sit here and do that because I'm not an idiot. Um. Oh, wow. Phantom shields are also amazing. Damage from all attacks by half. Well, that... Actually, to me, seems like something I would grind out to get. Uh, Dragon Shield, also really good. Angel Scarf, really good. Makes addition completely successful, the Ultimate War God. However, I think it also cuts the SP you get from it in half. Or no, that's the War God Calling. Yeah. yeah. So you do half damage and you get half the SP, but your additions will always hit. Whereas Ultimate War God just makes your addition always hit. So, if you're bad at additions and you, you know, if you grab the War God Calling and you and grind it out to the point where you have your final additions and you're really bad at doing additions themselves, I could see you grinding out getting a bunch of Ultimate War Gods. However, at that point in the game where you have enough money to get seven of them for all of your characters, uh, it's... Or, I guess you only need eight, because Shanna doesn't do additions. Um, six. Why did I say eight? You only need six of them. But, at that point in the game, if you've gotten there, you're likely pretty well-versed in how to do additions. And, it would be kind of pointless for you to grab that. I I'm just saying it now. It's, it's kind of a useless item. What it is good for is selling and getting a ton of money. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, like, hey, like, little, uh, cowboy. Or, uh... I can't remember what they're called. They stand there and shout in the street, and, uh... No, I have no idea. Lots of people trying to sell us things here, and apparently we climb up the side of the ladder. Hold on. Pro tip, the arena is not in your bedroom. Uh, and I can't get up. I can't. Who built these stairs? Or maybe I can only come down them. I don't know. I. Wow. There we go. I had to switch to the D-pad to get up your stairs. Come on, developers. I know you can do better than that. Here we get a little rooftop view. Oh, crap, wrong button. But, uh, we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, I'm running all over your roof. How do you feel about that? Probably feel terrible. I'm actually probably ruining your day. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm knocking shingles off and I'm, I'm causing a ruckus. I'm just a terrible person. Um, I don't think we actually need anything here. Oh, sorry about that. It was a little quick. Hard on old people. I'm having a hard time finding my way through it. <laughs> we found the bar that you can only get through, get into through the, uh, through the, 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 my brain is not working today, guys. It's really frightening. Through the, uh, roof <laughs> wow I feel terrible 
but there's not a lot there on the roof. I, f I think you can get a f an item through one of the openings. Here is definitely a place we want to go into. And we would probably be going in here a lot more if we had the pocket station. But unfortunately, we don't. It doesn't work with this game anyway. It got taken out of the American version. The boss! Yes, we've found the Goofy Merchant in Lohan. Antiques, huh? No. <laughs> I like to imagine that as a delivery though. It's like, ah, yes, the Dragoni plant. D yeah, do you have it? Ah, no. Yes, where did you hear about it? Where? You have a secret notebook? Yeah, who, who? Yes, that one. Who remembers seeing that clearly 3D object on the drawn ground? So we need some spring water then. Yep, yep, that's all. We're just leaving now. Run out of your shop. Actually, we do want to get something into Boss's shop. While we're here, we're going to go into a shop and uh, completely disregard the boss. Go all the way. Oh, wait, no. Wrong one. Why does he have so many ladders? Jesus. Go all the way up. And examine the armor. And we just steal Stardust from this place. There's nothing else actually in here. I don't think it even functions as a normal shop. It's solely a place for story. And the boss has uh, curiously disappeared from his own shop. Oh, apparently the boss went underground right here. We don't ever get to see that place, but I imagine it's a store filled with a whole bunch of weird shit. Or maybe it's a kinky sex dungeon. I don't know. I don't judge people. Much. Ah, yes. The street vendor. Does he have something we all like now? <laughs> we really have to buy a container. Well, I'm sure he has a bottle, but how much will it cost us? Yeah, no. 10,000. That was actually 10 million, I think. Yeah. No, 100 million gold. That was it. 3,000. Do we want it? Yeah, no. We don't even have that much gold. Two thousand two hundred. We actually still don't have that much gold. Now, we have a thousand. But let's see if we can get it for less. 500? Well, I... Can we get it for a little less? I mean, it's just a pot for water. A hundred? I mean, it is just a pot of water. Well, we get it for free! And he punches us in the face. We broke him. <laughs> we, we, we talked him to the point of him being physically unable to deal with us. We broke him. Now if we look over here in this pot, we get a Stardust. 
Also, there's a note of basil there, and I, I wonder if we talked to him with Labbits in the party. Did we get anything interesting? Nope. I wonder uh, which nation actually has this, actually has Lohan as part of it. I'm guessing it's like a neutral third party, but uh, I don't know. Bandit Drake, fresh vegetables. How are you doing, man? Bargain. He's all shaking now. He's like, oh, this is, it's a bargain. I'm giving you away. It's a bargain. We want to look in these baskets over here. We get another Stardust. And there's an item over here. Another 100 gold. Uh, up here is the arena. We don't actually have any business here. Um, we don't have any business here until much, much later. Yeah, they're not even open yet. Um, uh, so I will show this area off later. Um, I think we've seen the majority of Lohan. I'm going to do a quick sweep and uh, meet you guys back here at the entrance. Well, no, we didn't miss anything at all. So we're completely done with Lohan. Uh, well, we did miss one little thing, um, but that was just going into the uh, roof where the guy comes out and yells at us. Um, and he cryptically says, the roof belongs to everybody. But I think that this is where we're going to end it. Um, mostly because I don't want to start the quest to heal Shanna. And I want to revel in the glory that she's in pain and poisoned for a very long time. <sighs> but to move on with the game, we need to heal her. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, all that nice fun stuff. And um, I think I might actually grind out some money and uh, some XP from her characters. Um in between recording this episode and the next so i may be a higher level and i may have additions up to a higher level or may have even switched to other additions by then um hopefully i can uh, find a certain enemy in here and record it for you guys and maybe put out a little like interim video or something i'm not sure but thank you for watching um and i'll see you guys at the next episode bye, -bye.